All right, we are live. We are alive. And I have some of the coolest guys in the industry here with me. Um, so welcome, friends, to our first Life at CCM, uh, Construction to Perm, One Time Close Edition. So this division is all funded and serviced in-house. So we do not use a third party and we service these construction loans all the way through modification. So we're seeing about a 39% year over year growth. And, you know, it's not by accident that we have officially been announced the number one retail lender in the country. So we talked to what, what guys, hundreds and hundreds of loan officers who barely scratch the surface when it comes to really reaching their full potential and capitalizing on this product line. And I decided we need to get our megaphones out and take this information to the masses, really. So first, Jan Lassig, what an honor it is to know this man and work with him and learn from him. Um, Shan is our EVP of construction who really operates with within an originator's mindset. So he's ran a very successful origination practice, um, funding well over $2.5 billion in loans. Uh, so I, I admire the way Shan has also passed down his book to his son and really defined true generational wealth. Um, and so he works alongside our CEO and has built our entire in-house construction division, one-time close. Again, this is CTP and not to mention Whenever I hang out with Shan, he makes me want to drop down and do push-ups because his, I'm not even kidding. Like with his you were too, you were too nice. <laughs> and all, all time high energy. So you'll see exactly what I mean. So Shan, what is one word that you would use to describe how it feels to be the number one retail lender in the country? It the the word that comes to mind for me is grateful. Mm. I'm truly grateful for what we've been able to build and the opportunities. Living in a state of, of gratitude, I always say, is the gateway to grace, right? So yeah. thank you. And Mike, yeah. I'm so thrilled you could be here as well. Uh, Mike Smalley, our regional vice president, he has recently joined our team with Cross Country. Um, I consider him already like family. And it's been so cool to learn his story and see. He's one of the very few people I know in this industry that operates as a top producer, He's originated over $900 million in his career. And I asked him to join in because he also has a really unique niche with construction as a construction expert, as a construction loan officer expert. And, you know, a leader who has successfully ran and coached and mentored over a billion dollar region of mortgage loan officers. So he passes down the, the methods that have made him his millions and the giving tree just continues to grow. So, you know, Mike and I are looking to pour into loan officers and branch managers who fit our mold, who we can latch arms and grow with. And Mike is here on this call, yes, because of his construction loan experience. And I want these two doing most of the talking. So real quick, Mike, what's one of the reasons why you joined Cross Country? Yeah, I think people leave companies for two reasons. They leave either because the company they were at was inadequate and there's issues, or they leave because they're giving them an opportunity at an amazing place that's too good to pass up. And I was at a company for 16 years who that I loved and had have friends there and still friends and think very really highly of. But I was given an opportunity to come here at the number one lender in, in the country with excellence all around you and um, uh, an energy that's contagious and top originators, operations, people just, you know, cross country kind of breeds excellence. And I think you can see it, you know, um, just, you know, in, in a little that share that Shan has shared so far, but that was it really. It was just, I love where I was at, but an opportunity to go someplace that is just mm. incredible with excellent people all around and uh, iron sharpens iron. And so I was ready for a new challenge and this is the place to be. Amen. Iron totally sharpens iron. I am. I'm a big fan of that. So niches create riches, right? So Shan, can we geek out on it for a second on our unique construction product line and share with everyone what products we have to really attract our builders? Absolutely. Well, I know I want to just kind of tagline on to Mike Smalley and give him a little a bit of props when it comes to being entrepreneurial and the ability for him to run his unique environment under a huge 
umbrella like cross country. He gets to run his his process and program. It's the Mike Somali group powered by cross country. And I think that's literally the difference of where he's he fits the culture. He fits the mold to be able to grow and expand under that entrepreneurial spirit that he has. So we're very blessed to be able to have an individual like that that, to join our organization. So super uh, happy props to Mike. So um, one thing that is very different with our construction division and with cross country is we, we really validate the process of the borrower and builder experience. Literally, that's where that, that that that's what beats our soul. At the end of the day, if we can make sure that that builder is as happy or happier as the borrower, we we've done our job, and that's what we've done from the literally the architecture of taking it down from the application all the way to the modification and servicing. We have focused on making sure the communication and the digital progressive opportunities that we have in our industry allow that to happen, and then. We've also increased and, and added the very best products that you can do with the one-time closed product. So um, I think giving the service, being able to have the product, it doesn't leave your doorstep. You have 100% autonomy on your transaction where you're actually to be able to manage that transaction just like a regular transaction. That makes a big difference in the fear or the or the unknown of I, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to do a construction loan because they're hard. Literally, they're not hard. They're just different. And we have a team that that personifies uh, that 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 perfection in different. Yeah, and you know, we're going to get into a couple different pieces. I want to break it down individually for for each of our loan officer audience mm -hmm. um, and referral partners watching and consumers and builders even. Um, so let's dive into products. Would you like me to share your screen, Shan? Yes. Yes. So in in an environment where you're out to to, to do an existing uh, opportunity and that that borrower is looking for max financing and we're talking about agency conforming and high balance so every Fannie Mae Freddie Mac Jenny Mae or FHA and VA product that is available to buy an existing home is also available on a one-time close with cross country max financing so 95 percent on conventional financing 96 and a half percent or max financing FHA and a hundred percent financing VA up to one million dollars regardless of what the MSA is in in, in your uh, county or in your state and with the veteran bringing five percent as a requirement from VA we go all the way to two million dollars at a 95 percent loan to value we are the number one high balance VA construction lender in the country by far and it's because we really cater to the individual that has that VA entitlement. And, and we endorse VA uh, pretty much all the way up to myself and, and Ron Leonard, which is our savant leader. The guy is, is literally unbelievable. Can you talk a little bit about our unique products when it comes to build for rent and um, <clears throat> barn, con um, barn dominiums and some unique stuff? Because I'll tell you like when, well, we're on our calls like that's where kind of the jaw dropping experience happens and mm -hmm. and especially our builders like they get so excited about this stuff yep so i've, I've switched the screen and just we're, we're going to talk about the way you can build a home with uh, cross country and the products that we have are very very diversified um we are the only lender in the country that actually offers the fannie mae one-time close build for rent that is serviced by cross country so you've got a borrower that wants to build a house and actually keep it as an investment. They, it, it's 44% year over year increase that the build for rent uh, uh, opportunity has been there. And with a, with a client that wants to build a house yet only have one closing is it just is non-existent in the market except for at cross country where they have the ability to actually go under contract, close and fund that transaction as if the house were already built and their qualifications are done. The builder then builds the house. Once the house is ready to be occupied, the, the, the investment uh, individual uh, modifies the loan into their long-term and immediately invites the renter to move in. It, it, it's an unbelievable program. And then as the screen shows, there's every way pretty much possible we allow the house to be built, whether it's site built, stick built, a modular transaction, panel wall, hybrid modular, 
barnuminium or post and beam, and then all the manufactured products, double wide, triple wide. We um, recognize the MH Advantage and Choice. One of the new uh, products that have come out over the last two years is what's called an on-frame modular. And Clayton Homes is one of the homes that actually produces that uh, across the country. And when that is an on-frame modular that actually meets those specs, the MH Advantage and Choice Home Programs eliminate any of the price changes for manufactured. And we recognize that up front. So they're going to get the very best rate, the very best products and programs. And then another product that is really amazing is on stick built and modular transactions. You can add an ADU. An ADU is an acronym for accessory dwelling unit. That accessory dwelling unit can either be attached or detached built in conjunction with the primary residence. And we allow that on all of those transactions. It just doesn't exist out in the marketplace. And those are some of the real niche products that we've, that, that we've been able to actually really increase the volume on. And then I'm gonna now go into the product that we just announced about 60 days ago. We are doing FHA and VA max financing, one to four family, multifamily. It, it is a phenomenal product. Yeah, our, our investor friends are going, are going <laughs> bananas for that one. Um, this is amazing, Shan. There's just so much value and they're so, it's just so unique. And to be able to do this all in-house, right? Less mm -hmm. risk, more control, you know, having the autonomy. And, and so let's get into a little bit of the mindset behind some of this stuff, because it's great to understand the the what, right? What do we have to go out and, and talk about? Mm -hmm. right? Let's talk about the how. So, you know, nine out of 10 loan officers who we talk to have this fear or lack of confidence when it comes to construction loans and, and just getting these deals done. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. honestly, like they refuse to have egg on their face and they can't fathom losing that <laughs> referral partner. So they refer it out, right? And, yep. and all their construction loans are going to somebody else and they're completely missing the big boat that's there to take them to their next level of financial freedom. So Mike, can you talk a little bit about your experience and when you're coaching your loan officers and and identifying how we shift from this scarcity to abundance mindset and overcoming this real fear, right? I'm gonna acknowledge it, it's a real fear that mm -hmm. loan officers deal with. Yeah, I remember uh, this may be a decade ago at my, at my former company, we had a rookie loan officer and who was trying to survive and he learned how to do bond loans. And our whole branch was like, ah, those are too hard, not worth my time, I'm gonna refer it to him. And this guy probably, you know, made a killing for about 12 months doing all bond loans, which aren't easy. And one day another loan officer said, hey, I'm going to figure this out. If he can do it, I can do it. And this other loan officer figured it out and came back to the rest of us and was like, guys, it wasn't that hard. It was pretty easy. And then before you know it, like everybody in the office knew how to do a bond loan. <laughs> and construction loans are the same way. If you haven't done it before, it can be intimidating. And a lot of loan officers don't pursue it because they don't understand it. Um, no different than any other difficult loan you've ever done before. If you've ever done a bond loan, a, a first time home buyer, anything that needed credit repair, renovation, they're all the same. They all require some type of education, a little bit of knowledge. You're going to make a couple mistakes and learn from the first couple transactions. And they're actually pretty easy. And so I feel like it, it, I'm in Florida. Everyone in Florida is going after bond loans. There's a lot of competition in that market. We have a hometown heroes program. That's a really good state program. Everybody's going after it. The whole world posts about it on social media. The whole world knows it comes back July 1st. Nobody's promoting CP loans, one-time close for VA loans and FHA and all the other products we have. And so it's kind of a unique space where there's a lack of competition and there's not that much more complication than any other outside the box, non Fannie Mae vanilla loan. Um, and the biggest benefit with construction low is the lack of competition, but the loan size is my construction loan average mm -hmm. loan size is 60% larger than my traditional average transaction. It's not 60% more work. It might be 25% more work, but I would happily do 25% more work for a 60% larger commission because the loan sizes are significantly higher. Mm. Yeah, and I mean, Shan, like when we talk about the certification process and the way that we break this down so easily for the loan officer to be able to step in and confidently do these, there's there's two lanes, right? Being able to get yep. certified and being able to you know, originate these deals themselves, 
or you know being able to pass it on to a specialty team could you elaborate mm -hmm. on that process and and those two paths that a loan officer could take absolutely so loan officer first and foremost if you know how to take a loan application you know how to do a construction loan it's just a loan application it's the documentation that we receive from the builder <clears throat> from the landowner if we're buying a lot and all of the other intricacies that come involved with that with plans and specs the site plan those things those are things that you don't have to worry about what you worry about is what you do extremely well and that's to meet with your client and get them pre-qualified for their max loan that they want to finance once we know that number we have a dedicated phenomenal team that closes billions of dollars in construction loans and that's all they do so they tagline onto you and you actually have the nordstrom effect literally you walk in they know exactly what to do and they're going to cater that service throughout the entire process and make you look like a superstar you are then going to decide man i i'd like to do two or three or four of these a month let's let's do a couple more let's get our feet wet and then let's learn the certification process so i can actually stay the originator and do that and manifest that that nordstrom service to the client uh, through myself so we have both options i'm going to just use this statistic that's extremely important for most people to understand and it's 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 an amazing statistic because what mike brought up was was a was a huge huge misnomer when it comes to construction for instance, we have 3,000 originators at Cross Country. Less than 10% of those actually originate construction loans. The other 90% refer. That's the difference, literally, in construction lending. And when you have the ability to have that team behind you, where you know that it's a cross-country team, not a third-party service, where you're giving it away and now just hoping that somebody's going to call you back, you are the mouthpiece of Cross Country to your client. Us in the back office are giving you all of the Nordstrom ingredients to give them. So the change is not different. It's just the perception of, 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 what, that, of what that looks like. So the channel starts in the referral process and the channel then elevates into the certified originator piece when you see, wow, I see this as a niche. I see that I can actually now expand on a completely different uh, kind of vertical of my, uh, of my opportunity. Mike, you just went through this process recently. What's your feedback, or even if let's say you're coaching one of your loan officers on how to go out and, and market to builders and some of those best practices, like what comes to mind for you? Well, so it's important to understand there's two kinds of builders. You know, you've got, we're really three. You've got true custom builders, which are building maybe one or two houses a year, very high end, million five, five million dollar, depending upon where in the, in the country they land. And then you have your production builders. And so many of those are your national you know, builders. So think Lennar and DR Horton. The real opportunity in this niche is, is in the middle. It's the kind of semi-custom. So it's a builder that has access to 10 or 20 or 50 different sets of plans. Um, and then you know home, home buyers can pick and choose and customize from there. So it's more, it's more selections than like a Lennar, DR Horton, you know, national production builder, but not full custom. Um, I like that that kind of space in the middle because I feel like it's a little bit of the best of both worlds. Uh, it's the customization process and the ability to really build your dream home um, like you might get with true custom on a budget that might be more production driven. So it's important to understand there's really three different models. And with the construction perm business, um, we can do both. We can do the high end, which is your true custom, or we can do the, you know, the mid range, which is your semi custom. Mm -hmm. The semi custom from a unit standpoint dwarfs the true custom. So that's really where the opportunity is. So, you know, what are you looking for in your local marketplace builders that are building? I don't know, Shane, what do you think? Six houses a year, maybe 12. And, you know, I know we have loan officers at CCM that are working with builders that are building upwards of 200 homes a year with construction loans in that, you know, kind of mid range uh, semi custom model, but somewhere in that builder is really the sweet spot. Yeah. And in that, for instance, we have about 1560 builders across the country that are, that are accepted. And I would have to say that that, that niche, that sweet spot you're talking about is that builder that's between five and 50. Yeah. Mm. That's literally where that, where that scope fits, depending on where I call it production custom. So you've got the you've got the builder that actually sees the opportunity, would like to grow and do a little bit more production, but really leans on that custom experience because they're there at the job. They're they, they are they are truly selling themselves as opposed to Dr. Horton selling a name. 
that you you hit you expanded on that perfectly so mm -hmm. in in my opinion that's where you that's where you hit that niche but what it does and mike you're going to get into this a little bit as well is by the up the opportunity of offering one-time close as well as end loan permanent financing all it does is open up doors and windows that were not either seen or even heard yeah yeah that's the key kelsey is you can't say no to loans because if, if you say no to loans, whatever type of loan that is, they're going to go down the street and go somewhere else. And if that's your best realtor, your best past client, your best financial planner, whoever, um, that gives another loan officer an opportunity to take that business. So if a realtor says, hey, Mike, I've got a client that wants to build, they need a construction loan. And I say no, someone's going to do that loan. And that person now could take my realtor. So we have to be in a mindset that we're going to find a way to yes and we're gonna figure out how to do it. And it, whether you wanna be a certified originator and do it start to finish, or you wanna hand it off to Shan's team, you can say confidently, yes, it can get done. I think that's important. Um, what I found in my experience doing construction loans, and this is like most niche products, you know, you, I have a customer who calls me who wants to refi and they decide not to refi, but I keep in contact with them and two years later, they buy a new house and I did their mortgage. Or I have a customer that um, shopped me and went to low cost internet lender. I lost the deal. I kept them in my database. When it comes time to refi, they use me, right? And so people come to you for a construction loan. They don't all build houses. It's definitely a process, you know, and, and building a custom home is not for everyone. Um, certainly not for everyone at various life stages. Um, mm -hmm. First time home buyers that might, you know, are probably going to lean towards buying an existing resale. Um, so, I probably get, and I think this is pretty consistent around the country, that for everyone who calls us thinking they're looking for a construction loan, many of those people realize, yeah, that's not for me yet. I'm not at that stage of my life yet. I can't make the financial commitment to that yet. I'm not ready to make those level of decisions of customization of what countertops do I want and what color knobs do I want on my, on my, on my door. That person might go resale. Um, and if you do a really good job of following up with your leads, Many construction leads turn into resale buyers. Um, and for originators that are referral based like I am, the ability to refer business to realtors is tremendous as well. So a lot of those construction leads come in, realize, hey, it's not for me. I need a low money down first time home buyer program, you know, or maybe they don't want to build. That's a realtor referral. And so that's a great opportunity as well just to expand your database. So I think mm -hmm. the key is that you have to be able to say yes to, to almost all products. And if you don't, they're going to find someone else. Yeah. And you have yep. to fall in love with not necessarily having instant gratification. However, on the flip side, you know, we're, we're in the business to make an impact and grow wealth, right? So let's talk about the money here for a second. And when a loan officer actually gets paid on the deal. Shay, and the branch. And that? the branch. Yeah. And the branch. So we have a phenomenal uh, program that when the loan gets referred in, as soon as that loan closes in funds, remember this is a true one-time close. So if you think about it, I'm gonna close that transaction just like an existing transaction. And when it closes in funds, it's as if the house were already built. Commissions are paid at that funding to the branch and to the, and to the loan originator. And let me tell you what that opens up. We have an automatic free float down on the final 30, 30 days of, of the construction. So you immediately have a reason to stay in contact with your client, but better than that, after that first year, if it's a VA client or if it's an FHA client, we have streamlined refinances and, 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 the, and the Earl program that we offer that at no lender fees. So what you're doing is you're actually building the ability to actually create retention while they're building their house and they may have a friend or a neighbor. Think about that when you give out your, your, your favorite restaurant. Well, if things are going well in your construction loan, anybody else says that, you gotta go see Mike Smalley. Mike knows what he's talking about, man. I'm going through this process right now and it's amazing. That's a free lead. I mean, I can't say that every <laughs> loan officer even understands that it really is that easy. Um, Yep. So let's switch gears a little bit into how we serve our builders, right? So Shan's done a phenomenal job in building out our, our VIP builder services. And end of the day, our builders are our customers. And the way that we market to them and customize their experience and put them in the driver's seat, it's, it's very unique. So Shan, yep. can you highlight a little bit of our VIP builder services and how we really customize Absolutely. their experience? Absolutely. So 
um, as anybody that's on this call, uh, first of all, thank you for joining us. And then second of all, if you are an originator or you are a builder or you're a consumer, um, I'll go through the process of expectation. The process of expectation on the consumer side is expected. You expect that the individual, Mike Smalley's team is going to take good care of you. It's an expectation. The expectation of the builder is always varied because the builder has seen it all. Most of the time, the builder cr cringes on what's the draw process going to be like? How am I going to get my money? Like literally, they it's one of the most difficult processes for a builder to comprehend, but they want the deal. So they're going to go ahead and become a circus animal and jump through the hoops that the company uh, decides to throw them through. In our process, the post-closing experience for the builder is as important as that pre-closing experience is for our borrower. And I'm gonna go ahead and you can share screens. Uh, Kelsey, I've got, I've got some of the builder VIP services that we do. We are, we are one of the only, in fact, I think we're the only company in the country that has their, we have our own downloadable digital app that, that the builder downloads on their phone or their tablet. Let me tell you, 99% of every builder that I go and see, and I travel 150 times a year to every state, I still love being able to go out and visit my builders. Guess what they're doing? If they're not out at the job site, they're sitting in their truck on their phone or on their tablet. So what better utility than to give them the ability to actually do draws and look at their portal on their phone? Mm -hmm. So we developed that. Second of all, we developed a VIP concierge. So builders are really good adult sitters. What they do is they babysit people throughout this entire process on a daily basis. So even though the digital process works great, guess what they like? They like to have ver validation, verification. Hey, Chelsea, uh, can you just verify I did that right? That's why we give a VIP concierge. It's communication. Now, we allow a 10% closing draw to the builder. So when the builder closes the transaction, he doesn't have to use his money and then get reimbursed. We immediately fund up to 10% of the cost to build directly to the builder at closing. On top of that, <laughs> we pay off the lot. So literally the builder is going to be in this property far less in cash than they've ever been in, but they have full fund control. So they have full, full control of that. And then as they prepare the documents for us, the builder has two things that they do really, really well, and it's their system. Those two things are manage the expectation of their substance suppliers and then what does their draw process look like how do they ask for draws every builder has it, their, their process what we've done is we've taken away the process and shoving it down the builder's throat we've actually asked the builder give us your process we now can build that algorithm into your portal because it's digital and your process is the same as it's always been Builders are just amazed by that because it, they don't have to waste their time putting it back on another document. And then again, at, at the end of this transaction, you, Mike Smalley's group or, or everyone else that I'm talking to, you're involved in the entire transaction. Every time something happens, there's not any surprises. And when you're able to actually communicate effectively through that process, it's a, you, you change the builder. You literally change the builder. Shane, I think that's really important. And for those loan officers that haven't originated a lot of construction loans, or if you've done one and said, hey, that was a nightmare, I'm never doing it again. <laughs> it's typically after the close, right? It's typically yep. the, you know, so a common experience in the mortgage business is 45 days after close, a loan officer who just did their first ever CP loan and is probably already saying, I'm never doing another one. <laughs> it's a phone call from the builder and says, and the builder's like, I need money. Where's my draw? This, that, and the other. And the loan officer has no clue what's happening. They have no transparency, no visibility of where it is in the process. And then they start going through the Rolodex and calling people to try to figure out what's happening. And mm -hmm. that's that's the frustrating part because the loan officer has already mentally moved on to the next transaction. Yep. Their commission check's been paid. They're ready to go on to the next deal. So the importance of what Shan said, builder says, here's my draw process. And we say, cool, we'll follow that. We'll build the algorithm to set that up. But then the visibility throughout the process. So the yellow is not in the dark of what's happening. So if they do get a question, they either know who to connect them with, which doesn't really happen because they've got a VIP concierge internally anyway, that's their main point of contact. But that's a big frustration with loan officers. And that was kind of one of the things that attracted me to CCM's construction products is the ability 
to not only have the product up front and Shan highlighted a bunch of various niches that we do that most people don't, but then it's the ability to get out of the transaction once the deal closes, let the post-closing team handle it with the builder, but still maintaining visibility because it's still my client, still my customer. I still have to know what's happening, but I don't have to be involved as much in the day-to-day because it's run behind the scenes. And Mike, to, to tagline on that, if that process, and now I'm, I, I'm just going to I'm going to uh, kind of ad lib with you a little bit on this. If that's the process, and that builder is going through this in uh, this process that they probably never experienced before, what what happens the next builder visit? Good feedback. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you, yeah, you all of a sudden are the builders going. Yeah. Well, you guys, this process is amazing. Builders are the best referral partners when you mm-hmm. make it easy for them because they do not like change. And literally Mike can walk in there and say, that's the best transaction I've ever had. Everybody is going to go through you. That That's how infectious that post-closing experience is. I've always viewed, so most loan officers, the majority of their business is, is realtor, I would say mm-hmm. generally speaking, right? Yep. And I've always thought myself and coached my loan officers that you want your process and experience for the realtor to be so good that it's painful when they have a loan with somebody else, whether that's a buyer that, Hey, I've got a friend, I'm going to use them or it's their listing. Mm -hmm. You want, you want the gap between the process when you originate the loan to any other transaction they're involved with, that has to be a mile wide. And with a builder, especially because a lot of, a lot of lenders don't do a lot of construction volume and that back half of the process, that's really where the, the builder, the builder doesn't care. Like a realtor upfront cares about closing on June 30th because that's the closing date. That's what a realtor cares about. The builder doesn't care as much about when does the construction loan close because oftentimes people already own the land. The builder cares about what happens from that day through completion. <laughs> and it's a different mindset where with realtors, we have to focus on the experience contract to close. With builders, you got to focus on the experience close to completion. And if you get your head around that mindset shift, mm-hmm. you know, close to completion, that's what builders want. And a lot of lenders, I think that's where things get fumbled. They do a couple of transactions and then they slowly lose that builder's business because the builder gets more and more frustrated as houses are under construction before completion. Yeah, and I, I I would totally agree with that. And there's I like to make this comparison. I I, I mentor and and and. Uh, recruit with Ron uh, literally on a daily basis. And I, I, I come from a professional athlete background. Um, I've been an athlete my whole life. And so I, I'm very, uh, the way that I perceive a really good loan officer, a really good loan officer slash branch manager is like a professional athlete. You actually have to hone your craft on a daily basis because if you don't hone your craft on a daily basis, somebody else is. And as long as that's what you do and you have the tools integrated within your platform to do that, you can es- you can escalate that like Mike said. You keep it a mile apart. It's so painful when they go somewhere else. They're begging, please see Mike and his team because what we're going through right now is like a, a, a circus animal. And that's where I think the difference with cross country, not just in construction but in the culture, is that we have the ability to hone your craft daily to take you to whatever level that's going to be because we all have that all star run in it. My all-star run was for 15 years. I was super mm-hmm. blessed for 15 years to crush it, but it's because I had those the, the, those pieces. Mike Smalley is going to have the next 10-year run that's going to be ridiculous because of all of those processes, but Mike Smalley has got to hone his craft on a daily basis, and we give those tools and those those services there to, to actually help him hone the craft. Do you guys see what I'm talking about when I say I, when I hang out with Shan and just want to drop down and do push-ups? <laughs> <laughs> or go power dial and prospect and make it rain. I love it. And it's so yeah. true. You know, when I think about loan officers worlds too, they, a lot of times it seems so daunting to add a whole new skill, a whole new task. Cause they're already wearing so many hats and mm-hmm. they're trying to delegate and take some of these hats off. So guys and gals, listen, this is your call to action. Like if you liked anything on this call and if anything, you were just inspired, let us know if you want to, um, have a deeper dive and have some questions answered by Mike and Shan themselves, reach out to me. You can reach out to me on my social media groups on LinkedIn or Facebook. You can just DM me. Um, if this got in your hands as well, you know, just we do this out of the passion of our hearts to be able to go out and spread the messages at the end of the day. Um, yes, we are growing our team. And yes, we are looking for our next rock stars to pour these resources into because 
you know, that's the name of the game and that's why we created this. Um, so thank you both. Shan, I love the shirt. So I don't know if you guys know this, but Shan's going to yep. be starting a clothing line at CCM. <laughs> the promo store is open. No, I'm teasing, but he does. And, 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 if you're, and if you're a veteran, see, this is important is we salute our veterans. It, it, we're, it's a salute to service. We are literally one of the strongest advocates in the country when it comes to VA. But I'm going to do a real quick plug on Mike and, 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 and the entire team, Kelsey's team. Not just construction guys and, and gals and everybody that's on this call. You name it. There's a product and program we do. So when it comes to every agency program, when it comes to non-QM, when it comes to niche products, when it comes to jumbo, when it comes to renovation, when it comes to reverse, we have all of those products there. So when Kelsey says, man, I'm wearing a lot of hats, the best part about the hat is you're wearing a hat of an, of an originator. You're a communicator and a hunter, and we have the team behind you to be able to cook whatever it is you bring to the door. That is a, 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 a source that doesn't exist other than at cross country. And it's the reason that I love being able to recruit and talk about what we have to offer because we are different. We, we, we give that ability for, for loan officers and branch managers to thrive. And what CCM looks like today is going to be far different in the future in a way of just evolvement and evolution of yes, both product and, and processes, but Shan, mm -hmm. you can attest this because you sit on the executive team. Mm -hmm. I mean, over the last, 10 years, the growth of CCM and the way that things have evolved, I mean, in predicting maybe from inside construction, but maybe even outside construction, mm -hmm. like, is there anything that you can let us in on some insights of what is to come? Yeah, so I, I'd have to let you know right now that we are one of the only IMBs, which is, which is an independent mortgage bank. We are not held by a fiduciary bank. We are a privately hold, held company by a gentleman by the name of Ron Leonard. Ron Leonard is truly the mortgage savant. He's literally, I call him the Elon Musk of, of, of mortgage lending because he has vision and perception of that vision and he has the ability to enact in that. So number one thing that we've changed in the behavior that went away after 2008 and nine is the servicing ability of you being able to retain servicing. We are about an 85% retention when we write every single loan at, at cross country. No other company is doing that because they're searching for revenue. The revenue they're searching for comes from selling the servicing. Because we carry such an amazing balance sheet, we are the number one highly touted, highest balance sheet in the entire industry without a doubt. Ron sees those abilities years before others see that. And it's because we run a flatline executive team. We don't have that middle, that, that, that Oreo filling of, of stuff that doesn't, that doesn't matter. And in the future, what you're going to see is the ability for every product to be in-house. Let's talk about non-QM or jumbo. We just came out with one of the very best products on the market, which is a CCM internal jumbo product looking at AUS total, and we service that debt. There's nobody in the industry that's doing that, creating our own private equity fund and REIT inside the organization of, of cross country. That's one little insight. Awesome. That's a big and one. and Shan, the servicing piece isn't just a vanilla conventional Fannie, Freddie or Govey, but it's like you mentioned, it's some jumbo, it's some of the non QM, you know, it goes beyond the traditional levels that most IMB service. It's, it's an equity express. It is a bridge loan. It is a construction loan. It's a renovation loan. We are the only company that actually services the debt without selling the servicing back to Jenny May for reverse. No one else is doing that. That's another piece that I could get into, but the reverse, reverse is the number one growing uh, uh, aged individuals in the entire country by far in the next eight years. So when those, that next eight years, the ability for you to actually aggregate business in that reverse side and be able to actually control it, non-existent in the marketplace with the exception of CCM. Phenomenal. I was just talking to somebody yesterday and, and they were they were digging into some of our reverse platform and it's it is the future and guys this mm -hmm. is phenomenal i we could talk forever and, and i know <laughs> one thing i love about both of you is yes you are both masters of your craft when it comes to lanes like construction but also there's so many other areas and that's why you both have had the success you've had and and i am honored to uh to go out and share both of your stories and build with you both so thank you uh, mike anything you want to add before we wrap up no so you asked shan a word um 
for kind of like a, give me one word and he said grateful. And so I'll give you a, the answer to a question you didn't ask, which is like the first 45 days if there was a word and it kind of led me to, you know, when, when I heard some of what Shannon was saying, I would say resources. The one thing that I found that we have here that I don't think that can compare is the amount of resource, resources we have. You know, w whether that's social media or marketing or products or programs or construction or underwriting or support, like all levels of the organization. I said that, you know, I was attracted here because of the excellence that I saw um, in the recruiting process, but the resources now that I'm here uh, getting onboarded has been tremendous. And I feel like that starts from the top with Ron. Um, and I think it maybe goes back to the athlete thing. Like, you know, I'm, I played professional baseball for a couple of yep. years and um, getting ready. That's why to I brought my, it up, Mike. I mean, your yeah, brain, your brain yeah. is just like mine. I mean, yeah. you know what it's like to hone your craft. Yeah. Yeah. Getting ready to watch a couple of my teams in the college world series tonight. <laughs> uh, I played for the Gators and Seminoles. If you guys want to hear that fi funny story, it's a long one, but, um, yeah, I think that the competitive nature, everybody here wants to be the best. And I, I found that it's really, um, exciting to get be around people that are chasing excellence. Mm, amen. You guys are amazing. I feel like I'm ready to go, go, go out and actually <laughs> spread the word even more. And I will tell you, um, this is going to get shared out guys, friends, gals, listen, please give us a reach out. If you have any questions until next time on life at CCM. Cheers, everyone.